Crohn's disease. It's an gastrointestinal disease. Look at this picture shows that normal intestine and Crohn's disease affected intestines. Barium X-rays, mainly barium enema findings. CT findings and MRI. You got this detail going on. Introduction Crohn's disease is a chronic inflammatory condition of the gastrointestinal tract. Classified under inflammatory bowel diseases. It can affect any part of the GI tract from the mouth to the anus, but most commonly affects the end of the small bowel, the ileum, and the beginning of the colon. Definition Crohn's disease is defined as a type of inflammatory bowel disease characterized by transmural inflammation which can lead to various complications such as structures, fistulas and abscesses. Types 1. Iliocolitis. Inflammation affects the ileum and colon. Iliitis. Inflammation is confined to the ileum. 3. Gastroduodenal Crohn's disease affects the stomach and the beginning of the small intestine, duodenum. 4. Diginoulitis, patchy areas of inflammation in the jejunum. Crohn's colitis, inflammation is confined to the colon. Causes. The exact cause of Crohn's disease is unknown, but it is believed to result from a combination of genetic, environmental and immunofactors. Risk factors. 1. Genetic predisposition. Family history of Crohn's disease. 2. Environmental factors. Stroke diet and exposure to certain infections, 3. Immuno system, an abnormal immuno response to gut bacteria. Complications on bowel obstruction due to swallowing and scar tissue to ulcerous deep scars that can occur anywhere in the GI tract. Three fistulas abnormal connections between different parts of the intestine or other organs for malnutrition due to poor absorption of nutrition. 5. Colon cancer increase the risk in patients with long-standing Crohn's disease or Crohn's colitis. Pathophysiology 
exact pathophysiology is not fully understood but involves one immune system malfunction an abnormal response to gut flora to genetic factors specific genetic mutations associated with the disease three environmental triggers factors such as smoking and diet that exacerbate the condition signs and symptoms persistent diarrhea to abnormal pain and cramping 3 blood in the stool 4 weight loss and reduced appetite 5 fatigue 6 fever diagnosis one blood test to check for anemia and inflammation markers two stool tests to detect blood or infectious organisms three endoscopic procedures colonoscopy and upper endoscopy to visualize inflammation and take biopsies four imaging studies ct scan mri barium x rays to access the extent of the disease nursing diagnosis one acute pain related to inflammation and bowel obstruction to diarrhea related to the disease process three imbalanced nutrition less than body requirements related to mal absorption for risk for deficient fluid volume related to diarrhea five anxiety related to chronic illness and lifestyle changes management and treatment medications ye and inflammatory drugs example aminosalicylates b immune system suppression example acidobrine c biologics example influx map d antibiotics a anti diarrheal and pain relievers to nutritional support special diets vitamins mineral supplements and possible internal nutrition 3 surgery in severe cases resection of affected bowel segments psychosocial medicine one psychological support counseling and support groups to manage stress and anxiety to lifestyle modifications smoking cessation dietary changes three education informing patients about the disease treatment options and coping strategies prevention 
1. Smoking cessation Smoking increases the risk and severity of Crohn's disease. 2. Healthy diet Avoiding trigger foods Balanced nutrition 3. Regular medical checkup Early detection and management of symptoms Conclusion Crohn's disease is a chronic and often debilitating condition requiring comprehensive management including medication, lifestyle changes and psychosocial support. Early diagnosis and multidisciplinary approach are essential for improving the quality of life for patients. Thank you. Have a good day.